In the early 1990s, Thea Jarvis and her family were struck with the overwhelming struggles the nation of South Africa faced with the HIV-AIDS epidemic and the hundreds and thousands of children who were abandoned and orphaned because of this crisis. In response to this difficult situation in her country, Thea founded the Love of Christ Ministries, also known as TLC. Many mothers struggle to raise even three children. So imagine having to raise five biological children, 19 adopted children, fostering dozens of children, and having to care for over 800 abandoned children in over 20 years. Today, we're here at TLC to visit Thea Jarvis and her huge family to see how she copes raising so many children in her orphanage, which helps to alleviate the shocking statistics of orphans in South Africa. According to the United Nations Children's Fund, there are currently 3.9 million orphans in South Africa. Roughly 2 million have been orphaned as a result of HIV AIDS, and innumerable others have been orphaned due to indirect reasons. I was left as a child, um, parents unknown, um, so I don't know if it's rape victim, so on and so forth. Um, I was, the story I got told is that I was left in a gutter and a nurse who finished a night shift at Barragranath Hospital was walking home early morning and she heard me crying and she thought it was a dog. She looked and investigated and she crouched down to check what was, what was making that noise. She saw a little baby uh, covered in newspapers. I was abandoned in a, in a public bathroom and the nurse picked me up, took me to the hospital. And about two weeks after, um, Thea Jarvis, which is now my mother, she came by and picked me up. She asked if she could take me home for like a day and she soon fell attached to me. And uh, soon after she got me adopted. Without parental love and protection, many orphaned and vulnerable children end up with a frivolous future, which is why it is so important to have people like Theo Jarvis, who founded the Love of Christ Ministries, a home dedicated to giving a helping hand. I started TLC because basically I've known all my life that I needed to, that this was what God wanted me to do, something with children. My philosophy is that they, all the children must have a, uh, must have a future and they must uh, have a good family and every baby deserves a family. We never wanted to be an orphanage. We didn't want people to come and say, oh, this is where the orphans are. Uh, when you look at our children, you don't immediately think orphan. Um, we look after them just like a family. There's a mom and they know who the, the boss is and what the rules are and they feel at home. What normally happens is a social worker of a hospital will phone us uh, and say, okay, we've got a, an abandoned baby. Can we, they, they know us because we've been doing this. This is our 20th anniversary. We bring the baby home and we immediately give a Form 36, it's called, to the social worker because everything has to be really above board and legal. The baby has to be reported to the magistrate within 24 hours, which we also do. The child should only be here with a court order so that nobody can come and say, that's my baby, I want it, or whatever. We try to manage ourselves uh, as, you know, as sustainably as possible and that's really where a lot of my focus is at the moment is trying to get our farm uh, into proper production so that not only do we have enough to survive ourselves but that we have surplus to sell which will ultimately help us with the income got a, a, the nest which is a, 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 where all the small babies go and they have tiny little cots there and uh, we usually have two volunteers there who sit there with them. They're monitored at 24 hours a day. It's a very low uh, stimulation place where they, uh, it's quiet for them. We put on some nice music and yeah, we try and keep it nice and calm for them and they get lots of cuddles. The importance of volunteering for me is that if every South African got up out of their armchair or off their couches and went into a community and volunteered, imagine the type of difference we could all be making to South Africa and the communities that are within the country. And the big thing as well is that you end up learning a lot about yourself, which is a, it's a personal growth opportunity as well. I've got 19. My eldest daughter, Joanna, has adopted uh, four, and she's got one of her own. Um, and then my daughter, uh, Pippa, she's adopted 12, and she's got a couple of foster ones as well. When I see that a child is bright and that he has potential, then I really, I really try hard to get them into really good schools. So um, my two boys who are now at university, they went to St. David's because we managed to get sponsorship for them. The school we went to was quite a posh school. 
St. David's and uh, so you had different boys from very different backgrounds yeah? and having two of us from our background mixing it up and trying to talk to kids from their background so on and so forth it was interesting because you would think people would be shunned or scared of that because they wouldn't know how to relate to it but then they would give examples and you just have a lot more to give examples with. Joshua is at WITS and he's studying law. Uh, he's, uh, he plays first team rugby at WITS and uh, he's now just been selected for the Lions, the amateur Lions. I feel that I've come from a lot and I've learned a lot and through all the experiences that I've learned, I'm way better than I would have been if I didn't have the experience. And I just focused on me being myself rather than focusing on so many people being around, being around me. And I guess you pick, I pick up from each individual within their family strong points and I use it for my betterments. So I learn from each if each individual within the family. So I learned to the, the responsibilities of stepping back and giving others an opportunity or raising my hands and being like being charting take notice of me. And through sports or through XYZ examples, so many different examples. I couldn't see myself growing up without so many relatives around me and directly in my personal space. Like, so having like a little sister wake, pushing my door open at five o'clock in the morning just to irritate me. Or having sisters sit down and take them to the movies, pick them up from school, go to rugby matches and stuff like that. We've had 800 babies come through our doors, or nine lovely, stable, great families. They're very closely bonded and it's, it's beautiful for me to have such a mixture of children and they're all so, so loving to each other. With the help of volunteers, the Jarvis family normally has room for at least 30 babies who are cared for until an adoptive family can be found. And over the years, they have placed more than 800 children with permanent adoptive families. Oh, yeah.